Coming up, find out the how the community is coming together for a lunch break. Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News starts now. From the High Definition Digital Production Center on the Troy campus, with news from Troy University locations around the world, this is Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News. Hello and welcome to Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News for June 20th, 2013. I'm Felicia Payne. Thank you for joining us this evening. The City of Troy is doing its best to attract attention to the downtown area. They decided to give the community members a free meal with some help from the community leaders. Justin McNelly has the story. For the second time this month, the City of Troy held its brown bag on the square to garner up some community involvement. The major purpose of this event is to exactly what it has done. It has attracted people to our downtown area. It is so rewarding and refreshing to have as many citizens come out to our downtown area and find out what we have to offer. This event was a little bit different than the one held a couple weeks ago. Several places and people in the city of Troy felt the need for this to be a big time event. And some of those people dipped a little into their wallets. We had donations from Mama Goldbergs, from Mayor Jason Reeves, Steve Flowers, State Representative Alan Booth. We did have donations and it really and people really appreciated that also. We're so appreciative to these uh, people here in Troy and those sponsors for doing such a fine job of making sure we had food and drinks for everyone. And with all the giving that was going on, two local musicians were more than happy to bust out a few tunes to give love to the place they call home. I had fun doing it. They always asked me to play, and then I got the opportunity to play with Johnny Barron up there. He's a very good musician. Uh, it's just a, it's a fun thing to do, and it helps out a lot. I sang two songs also with a young lady of mine, Maddie Johnson, and really enjoyed doing it. It was a very nice, a very great, a great crowd response, and I enjoyed doing it. And the turnout for this event was way more than expected. The turnout today was extremely, extremely nice. We're very well pleased. The crowd was just, I mean, wonderful. So we just really, we are we really appreciative of the people are coming back downtown Troy. Justin McNelly, Troy, Trojan Vision News. Over 200 people attended the second brown bag on the square. This one time at band camp, there were the band Olympics. And Wednesday night, the Sound of the South Leadership Camp hosted the annual band Olympics to have some good old fashioned fun. Sartain Hall was full of cheering Wednesday night as the Sound of the South Music Leadership Camp hosted the annual band Olympics. While there were no gold medals awarded, there was lots of competition. We have the uh, Band Olympics, and the Band Olympics is a relay and team building competition to help the kids be able to, when they go back to their schools, be able to have that team mentality. Students were given the option to participate in the games or just sit and relax in the bleachers with friends. For those who chose to participate, they had events like wheelbarrow races, tug of war, a game of ninja, and other things to keep them occupied. Just your typical relay race kind of things, you know, dizzy bats and what have you. And regardless of if the campers played in the games or not, time to sit back and relax after a day of classes and rehearsals can be important. Well, it takes some of the, takes some of the stress off of uh, class and helps them be able to get that last spurt of energy out. But for the students at camp, through all the fun and games, they have still learned some ways to better themselves as musicians and things that they can take back to their high schools to improve their own band programs after they leave Troy on Thursday. Leadership, because we need it, and um, just to show people that they can be better. I learned how to read music a little bit better and march a little better. The camp ended with an award presentation and performance from the students earlier this afternoon. And now taking a look at news from around the state. An automotive supplier is breaking ground on a 300,000 square foot manufacturing pl plant in Montgomery this afternoon. DOS North America makes seats for Kia and Hyundai vehicles. The expansion will create about 300 jobs in the Montgomery Industrial Park. And state officials have voted to allow a nearly 300-bed hospital to be built in the northern Alabama area. The Certificate of Need Board voted yesterday to allow a regional hospital partner to build a 280-bed hospital in Florence. And dozens of searchers are looking for a woman who's missing after a rafting trip in Blount County. Authorities are trying to locate Alyssa Hofsletter of Blountsville, a 19-year-old student at the University of Alabama.